Welcome to this week's episode of Sportsman's Journal. Tyler and I are back up at Trapper's Landing Lodge, and it feels really good to be back. And I'm excited because this episode, I'm going to be on the ice with Tyler. Are you super excited for everything about this trip? No. <laughs> uh, the weather conditions are not going to be favorable tomorrow. No, uh, the weatherman had a brutally cold. The word brutally was in there. Brutally cold and winter, not a good combination. The high tomorrow is negative 25. It's supposed to be negative 25 for a high. So Josh gave us a little piece of advice. Yeah, so Josh said some beautiful words. <laughs> Once we got here and we, we heard the weather, we were all down to dumps and then Josh said, well, hold on here now. All plan, hope is not lost. Plan B, and plan B was, I got a f fantastic main lake base and crappie bite going on on one of the smaller lakes. And so I'm like, whoop. It's like Tyler planned out. Not almost conditions. like I called the weather in. Yeah. I'm excited to go out and do it. I, I don't, I don't know. I am, I have mixed feelings. Um, I'm not excited about the cold, but hopefully it'll be a short ride out and it'll right. be fine. It'll be okay. You know what and though? We'll survive. Well, here's how we're going to end this intro. We're going to end it with, we'll be right back with something <laughs> because we don't know what's going to happen no. tomorrow. Negative 25 <laughs> is going to be rough. It's going to be rough on the equipment. Well, you might see us playing us. games at the table. Yeah, who knows? It might be, it if we be come a back in. Show. Yeah. Nazi, who knows? <laughs> Everybody stay tuned. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. The Buckshot family of spoons from Northland Tackle, the original Buckshot rattle spoon, the Buckshot coffin spoon, and the all new glass Buckshot spoon. Northland Tackle, we are walleye. We are ice. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Northland Fishing Tackle. To get everything you need for your next hard water trip, check out northlandtackle.com. might be the coldest that Sarah and I have ever fished. And Josh reassured us that, hey, you're up at Trapper's Landing. You're up by Leech Lake. Fish are gonna bite somewhere. So we're gonna go see if he's right. Yeah, I uh, am not real excited about the weather. Negative 34, negative 33 right now. So we're warming up, good sign, I guess. Um, I did a post about putting our gear to our, the test. Yeah. A couple weeks last week uh, when we were in Northwest Ontario um, I'm good with that I, I feel like my gear uh, held up in those I don't need to continue testing yeah. the gear field but, testing is done aggressive and I just debacleized it. Debacleized yeah. it? Oh my goodness, look at the school. Yeah. Come on, fish. There you They're go. like barely tapping it. Yes. This one didn't really tap it. Oh, he hit it He hard. came up and slammed her. Oh my goodness. What do we got here? This oh. looks like a nice fish. Oh, oh. This looks oh, like I a dandy. I missed it again. Oh, this looks like a dandy. Oh my gosh, that's the school yeah. of fish I'm missing now. Yeah, man. you gotta get a good hook set in there. Oh my goodness. He absolutely engulfed it. This yeah, is a big crappie. I'm watching big. my fingers. Yes. Wow. There we go. What are you thinking? Oh my god, I got, I got. <laughs> I'm still working one. I a got hit three bunch, times. A bunch of huge slabs just rolled through. We just got set up. We started to feel our toes again. Yeah. <laughs> and the big slabs are rolling through. Oh come on. Oh my Sarah. gosh, I love it up here. What a blast. He engulfed I blew that my bro bug spoon. We're going to be talking a lot about that chance. today. Northland, it's been out for a year or two now. I think last year it was new. Last year was its first I year. I think so, yeah. And we got to use it a little bit, caught some fish. And we've been using a lot more this year, and it's becoming a confident bait for us. That is a really, really nice starter fish. What do you think, hon? Are you excited? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. After seeing that. And then I, I had them, and I blew my chance. There and was, then you see that. How many were down there? A there lot. was like it 10 was like or 15 a wave of them. Of these crappies if there's 10 or 15, in. 13 inches rolling through, oh I'm going to be excited. Yeah, what a nice yeah, fish. Nice day. Oh my goodness. It's big. Is it? Is it big? He looked huge on screen. Yes, he looked absolutely gigantic. Oh, come here, buddy. Come up the hole. Oh, yeah. He's Not nice. a bad fish. No. Engulf that. 
Bro bug. Whoa, he's going crazy. I got one working. Oh, I just felt my thumb on a hook there. We got dubs. Nice. Mine's a yes. solid fish. Yes, yours is definitely a solid fish. It's this not. This is crazy. It's not a 13 and a half like we just caught, but hey, it's I'll a strong take those 11. All day. I'll take them all day too. There you go. Get him up the hole. Oh my gosh! I what? Bottom lip hooked him. Yeah, you did. Nice. A little so double. I need. A little double action. Yeah. Put mine back in there. With uh. Attempt all to. these hooks. Go ahead back there, Bob. So one thing about using spoons. There we go. Nice work. Yeah. That one coming. That's a big fish right there. Oh my goodness. Just absolutely. Wow. Wow. He what came you got? from the bottom. I don't know, but it feels Holy good. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. He's got head shakes galore. Head shakes galore. If this is a crappie, sideways. do I need to get out of the way? I don't know. You're probably going to get tangled up in all of our cool I electronics hope, we got hanging down the hole. <laughs> He's going crazy. He is going crazy. Oh I hope goodness. it's not a northern. It's a boss. You saw it? I saw it. Yeah. I don't know how big No, it. it's not a boss. Is that a crappie? It's a crappie. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought it was a bass. <laughs> It's not a bass. <laughs> I saw it on the arc of you go by quick. And I was like, oh, that's pretty big for a crappie. He came from nice job, the bottom Sarah. and cow. just demolished it. Oh my it. gosh, there's a ton of them down there. Oh my goodness. That is a really nice crappie. Oh my gosh, hilarious. Tyler saw it on the aqua view coming up to the hole. I was like, oh, that's a little yeah, bass. Yeah, I thought it was a bass. And all of a sudden it came up to the hole. I was like, that's not a bass, it's a huge crappie. That is amazing. That's a so dandy. This is why I chose the 1 8 ounce bro bug spoon because I wanted to eliminate the little guys and catch these. A giant. Celebs. All right, we're going to put her back. Oh, boy. Nice job. That was textbook right there. That was. Perfect All of a sudden he was like. The fish just came up on it and. Oh, I like what I saw. Yeah. Gobbled her down. Oh, wow. Big fish. He feels good. I'm excited to see what you got. Oh yeah, it's nice. It's nice, 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 nice. Oh my gosh. He's off, oh my he's off, he's off, he's off, Grab he's off. Him. No, 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 no. Yes. Nice job, Sarah. I have no idea how that just happened. <laughs> Do you need help? I have my fingers like under his gills and Your I chair. took my chair over. We got all sorts of chaos and going nuts here. We'll do anything for big slabs. I'm proud of you. That's a dandy fish. Wow. wow. I cannot believe that just happened. I think the fish <laughs> shook the hook loose like as he was halfway up the hole, but he was still coming, you know, up. Yeah. And he got stuck in there, lodged yeah. decently. That's a and nice fish. And I was crappie. able to grab him under his gills and pull him up. That is crazy. That's a nice fish. We saw the big mouth come up, so we were yeah. like, oh my gosh. Once you see <laughs> that, the head of a 13 inch, you best grab it. Yes, that is nice amazing. Job. Woo! Sarah, I'm impressed with the roe bug. We are, we're doing pretty good on yeah, it. Yeah, the roe bug's doing fantastic. You can see mine is pretty beat up and um, it's gotten some hits. Right. They actually come in three different sizes. They have a size smaller, but we wanted to eliminate some of the smaller panfish. So we went with the one eighth ounce and you can see the bulging eyes uh, on the roe bug spoon. That's so that we can locate it on our yep. electronics. And Tyler and I are actually using one electronics for both of us. So that's yep. huge that it's making it a little bit bigger there for us exactly. to read. And then it tapers down and um, it's the tapered down design is for a couple reasons, but quick fall and it does, it, it gets down there quickly. Yes, it does, falls fast, which is yeah. important when you're chasing these basin crappies because they roll in three or four at a time and you got- It is, yeah. What, what do you, five, 10 seconds to get down there from their you face and then they there. keep moving. So and when you use smaller stuff and it's there. like do, 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 yeah, do, it takes do, too you long. know, so it, that's really helping. And then the tapered body also allows for a better hook Great gap. hook sets. Really good yes. hook sets. Like I don't feel like we've missed a whole lot of fish. No. We missed if, a couple and if we miss them, it's light. because we're probably late setting the hook. Yeah, or they're just hitting really tiny, some yeah. of them are. Well, we don't but... miss fish anyway. It's never our fault, right? It's... No, we're experts. <laughs> on Come on, yeah. But we're tipping it with a chunk of meat on there. So we've been using, you've been using a minnow head. Minnow head. I've been using the full body and sometimes the back end, yep. the roast. The roast. <laughs> it's been working real good. And the one thing that I like about it is that they come in 12 different colors. So there's a lot of different Which is nice. colors to choose from. And we're both using glow. We're fishing this deep basin water. You need something that the fish can see from a long ways away, mm -hmm. something that sticks out. And mine's a UV glow and you have, yours glows as well. Yeah, mine So that's really nice. Glow, and, yeah. and a lot of people might not know the difference between glow and what UV is. Glow is the paint job absorbs light like a sponge and then emits it once the light's gone. Mm -hmm. And the UV reflects a, a lot of light. So that's a really bonus that's when awesome. you're down there. And it's dark down there. I mean, yeah. we had our aqua view on and it's really dark. Done and it. that glow aspect of the bro bug, the glow paint job, the 
UV reflective. Makes a as difference. As much light as it can get to show that bait down mm -hmm. there is helping us because again, we're not moving. We're right. staying in one spot. We're fishing the eight inch hole regardless today, so yeah. we better catch fish out of it. Yeah, we're on. not going anywhere. So any, we're, we're trying to do as much as we can to benefit us to catch more fish. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're trying. Mm -hmm. It's working out. We're catching tons of crappies. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Stryker. To see their full lineup of men's, women's, and youth ice fishing apparel, visit strikerbrands.com. hear a lot about location is key with ice fishing, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, you're fishing out of an eight inch hole. Well, today it's kind of luck of the draw. What we're doing is we're using our pan optics, our Garmin. So we have it set up right between us and it's kind of a cool deal because we can use the pan optics on the down view and we can see both of our jigs really easily. And we also can see 10, 15, 20, 30 feet out yeah, with you, fish and, cruising through. And we put it on, you know, perspective and, right. and scope the area around, and, but... work around. and we're seeing fish constantly. It's just, when you're fishing this big basin, if you can't get out there, we don't have finicky foolers up. Normally we do. That's the one thing we always have out. It's just so darn cold out not that we're not able to cover, <laughs> cover a lot of water. So we're using the pan optics. We're using it to locate fish. Hey, here they come. Get ready. We're able to see what's going on. It makes it a lot more fun and enjoyable. Oh yeah, I love, and, I love being able to see And that. the fact that, you know, we, we, we said that we're going to pick that point. And no, that's a key thing. If you don't have a whole lot of structure in Main Lake Basin, find something that's adjacent to them that the fish will come up and utilize in low light periods or in high feeding window areas, they're gonna come up, use that piece of structure that's adjacent to where they're roaming. And that's what we're doing today. And it's, it's paying dividends. We're catching tons and tons mm -hmm. of crappies. There's two oh, coming. Oh, 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 he's gonna hit, he's gonna hit. Yes. Yeah. That one popped yes. it. You got the other one by you now. Oh, he's the one that's being finicky. This is so much fun. Yes. Negative 35. Negative Big 35. Crappies don't care. Crappies don't care. Crappies got to eat. Basin dwellers got to feed. All right, no flopping. I got, I got, I got, I got you got them coming? Yes. Nice on the doubles. Dubs. That feels good. Yeah, it does. Gosh, this is so much That's fun. That's a good pull there. This is wow. why we come up to trappers, I think. I think so. Oh, come on. Oh, nice, nice. Yes, Sarah. Oh I, my goodness. I like how you kind of just, you kind of bring them up on uh, the unloading dock. I, yeah, I don't mess around <laughs> when they get to the hole. <laughs> you know what's nice is when we both are taking time to dig our bro bugs out of a fish's mouth. <laughs> that this feels amazing. Fun. Hook sets are good too. And that's one of the good things about the bro bug, to be honest with you. The slender body, they have a little bit better hook set, hook setting percentage. Yeah, I, I am mean, not really, getting, you want geez, the my pliers? Pete, Here. What did I do to this guy? A million dollar hook set. You yeah, it's think? not even in his face no, that much, but look at that. I just did a good job. It's, oh. it's nice to see a healthy fishery where you get different year classes. Right. We've it, caught little ones like five inches up to 14. 14. So and you know far, what? If so we're going to keep fish to eat. It's perfect. Beautiful. There you go. Love it. Tell your friends. Nice job. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That fish was high. Does it feel like a crappie? It's fighting like a crappie, yes. It came in suspended yeah, 10 did. feet down. What do I got here? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, oh yes, yes, my yes, goodness. Yes, 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 yes. Look at guys. Oh my gosh, there you go. Flop up here, buddy. Get him up on the ice. Look at this giant. Oh my goodness. I'm struggling. Yeah, and you're pointing that thing right I at know. me. I know. Sorry. Look at <laughs> <laughs> Big slab. I'm excited. He uh, he came where well, we're in 18 foot here. Yeah, and he was just that about 10 feet down. 10 feet. Look, there's another big one coming. What a nice giant crappie. I love it. I got wow. a fish coming. I got a fish that, coming. Oh, gee, oh, Pete, I barely had him even hooked in there. I love it. Bro bug. Woohoo. That is a giant. You got him all over you. Missed him. You missed him? Shoot. <laughs> That's a nice fish right there, though, huh? Yeah. Wow. Maybe he'll come back. That is a giant crappie. That is crazy. That is what we're after. Hey, you know, I miss mine, but we got yours. That's that happens, yeah. Matters right now, because that's a beast. That right there is a giant. I just love catching crappies. I know. And I love catching crappies with the stick that I'm using. This rod that Kramer makes, Kramer Custom Rods, it's the Wall Banger series we're both using. And it's one that he's been making for three or four years. And we were kind of looking for something that was kind of a finesse walleye stick, but you know, you can handle big slabs and mm -hmm. stuff like that, but it's perfect for spoons in that 1 16th, 1 8th, and that's what we're using today. All right, don't be fooled by the name Wallbanger. Yeah, don't be fooled by the name Wallbanger. It can catches a lot of fish. 
<laughs> a lot of different species. Uh, but it's perfect for this bro bug that we're using, that one eighth. It's got good feel. You can feel your spoon all the time, but it's not a real noodly tip, which I don't want in a spoon, when a jigging spoon. I want to be able to feel that, that spoon all the time bouncing up and down. And it's got plenty of backbone to handle big fish and you're getting really good hook sets. And that's a problem when you're using too soft of a tip of a rod with a heavier presentation, mm -hmm. a heavier spoon, is you don't get really good hook sets because it's too soft. It's given too much. It's just stiff enough on the wall banger series that we're getting great hook sets with these spoons and they're fun to fight. They're fun to play fish on. So like my KCR wall banger, big time. Got one coming in right now. Big fan. Big fan, big fan. Oh my gosh, it's like a swarm of them. <clears throat> yes. I'm going to catch this other big one here. That's definitely a crappie. Good. Get up through that hole, buddy. Get up through that hole. Come on. Dinkards, dunkards. I didn't really say he's a dink. Dinkards and dunkards. Oh, oh my, my gosh, they're everywhere down there. Oh my there. goodness. I got this guy. All three trebles are in his mouth. All three trebles. He took my meat. Oh my goodness, there's Hot a big one coming. Get down the hole, pal. Nice job. Wow. Is that the big one? This one feels better. Does he? Do well, I need to maybe come? Not. Do I, I need know. to come and insist? <laughs> I don't know. I think he felt better for a second. I gotta put some meat on there. Oh, he's almost in the hole. It makes me nervous. Oh wow. There's some pull he there. He pulled some drag out. I'm counting on you to, t to handle this one solo if he's giant. He's actually putting up a heck of a, ba a battle. That's a nice crappie. Yeah. That's a good fish. Oh yeah. Nice 11 job. and a half, 12 are there. Yeah. They're, they're still down there, and I'm trying to put a middle chunk of meat on there. Oh my goodness! I'm shaking he was so not much. getting off for the life of him. Get down there. Oh yeah, that's a quality fish. Yeah. Nice work. Going back. Wow, this fish just came. Did he? Wheeling from the side. That's a nice fish, <laughs> isn't it? Just drilled it. I don't know. He feels the same as. The rest of them? Same as those eater size. Oh, he's nice. Oh my he's gosh. Nice. Oh my he's gosh. Nice. Oh my he's gosh. Nice. Get him up. Yes. So he's nice. Wow. That is a nice uh, one, Sarah. Wow. Yeah. That guy, he came out of nowhere. I was on my phone. <laughs> Look, Typical. No. I was on my phone. And uh, yeah, he came off from the oh, side. Oh, shoot. That's a dandy. And he was not very wow. big on the screen. Nice job, Sarah. And just, I mean, he like zoomed and boom. Yeah. And, and now you got a whole minnow on. Yeah, I, I'm using a little crappy minnow on. On the bottom, I'm, I'm switching it up. I'm putting all different sizes of meats on there, but look at that. Meats and wow. cheeses. Let me see that. Yeah, thing. you know, not oh everybody likes goodness. the same cut. Sarah, that's a 13er there. Woo! I love it. I love it. I love <laughs> it. We're catching slabs. Yeah. He's all over that thing. He hit it, but he's not like. He's not like noshing. Taking it. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Speak to me. I don't know. I mean, he, he feels better, but. Yeah, you never know, right? Sometimes those little ones pull a lot. Would you like my assistance down here? Oh. oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh. Oh wow. What do you got? Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, awesome. Bro bug for the win, hon. Nice job. I'm a little speechless. <laughs> Not gonna lie. That is a giant. That's a mammoth. Oh my goodness. Slab. I love it. The bro bug has done awesome for us today. We were just talking about how we probably want to start packing up soon because we don't want to pack up when it's freezing no, out. It is brutal outside. And this guy came to say hello. Uh, I just like to talk real quick about how bad it is outside, but how good was it inside the otter today? This is good. It was I'm a like, phenomenal. I'm, this is a big thing. That is a huge crappie. Yeah. What a blast. I'm gonna put this yeah. girl back put that, so put that, that she can make big girl back. babies. That's a beautiful sight right there. Oh my goodness. See you later, sweetheart. Wow. Wow. Oh, fun. Woo! Dang, that was nice. That was a beautiful fish. That fish was ready to go home from its tropical vacation. Oh, yeah. That's how I like to think yeah, of it. Yeah, it is probably, we almost burned a hole to the lake again. It's warm in here, it but that's okay. Here. It's like 70 here, yeah. I bet, 70, 80. I'm almost overdressed. We'll step outside for a second. No, I'm good. You'll feel better. So did you have fun? <laughs> I did. It was a it was a great time, and sometimes the weather's gonna throw stuff at you. You just gotta roll with it. You just gotta roll. That's right. Our hub kept us nice and warm. Right. Our heaters kept us nice and warm. Yeah. Our equipment so. worked flawlessly, and that goes a long ways for comfort. Make sure your heaters work like you said. It absolutely hub needs does. Work. The augers need to drill. The razor work perfect. Ice fishing isn't for sissies. No. Electronics gotta perform. Rods and reels gotta work. KCRs did great. Yep. And then, what else worked really good today? 
The bro bug. The bro bug. North I think that's where you were going. That's where I was going yeah, with that. Yeah. The you bro bug the play. definitely put some fish topside. Um, yeah. I think it like you know so it was a cold front condition. Right. And we had it's a spoon, so it has a little bit of action, but it's not overwhelming. So no. it's not spooky. Right. Fish. It's got that slender profile, which I think is kind of like a finesse type of you can say it's a finesse spoon. Right. Yeah. And it worked perfect. We went a little bigger for bigger fish. Mm -hmm. That paid off, I think. I agree. We caught some giant copies. <laughs> I agree. Pat myself size. on the back for that. Right. One. And we also learned that, we kind of already knew this, but it kind of drove home the point that when we come up to Trapper's Landing, they treat us pretty good. Oh, yes, they always do. And when we had a, a great trip, the accommodations are amazing. The fishing is top notch. Really unbelievable up here. Yeah, it is. It's unbelievable. It's awesome time. That's why we love coming up here. Yeah. We might film all the ice fishing shows next season from Trapper's Landing. <laughs> That's because Tyler wants to stay on the crappie That's pool. because there's good crappie fishing here. <laughs> yeah. I had a great time. Everybody, we hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll see you next week on the Sportsman's Journal.